And unlike me too No roof on my top And my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop They ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind So why I need you Baby girl love my bob And unlike me too No roof on my top And my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop They ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind So why I need you if you guys are looking for a cardistry move to learn that is relatively easy and really cool looking, then you've come to the right spot. My name is Daniel Huckins, I've been doing magic and cardistry for about five years now, and if you guys are new here, or whether you're not new into magic and cardistry at all, but just new to the channel, I would consider subscribing. I teach magic, I teach cardistry, I do deck reviews on latest decks, some new decks that you might not know about, so if you're into all of that stuff like I am, then you should stick around. As I said, it is easy to learn with a little bit of practice. You'll have it down in no time and it looks super dope. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, for the tutorial, we'll be using the first playing cards, V5 Hollow Edition by Chris Ramsey. If you guys are interested in checking out these cards, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. If you guys have seen these and aren't sure if you want to get them, I did make a deck review of them in my last video. I'll also link that in the description if you guys are interested. All right, once again, here's what the move looks like. Really easy, um, simple, and fun to do, yet just very addicting because you're constantly spreading cards, just kind of like, you know, so it's just, it's very comfy. It's a comfy little cut. So hope you guys have fun with it like I have fun with it. Quickly before we start, just some credits to the inspiration of this cut um, it's by Benji. This is his name and his Instagram if you guys want to check him out. He has a cut where it splits into three packets from the spread and goes forward. Um, I can't get that one down just yet, so I was just messing around and did this. Um, so, my own little variation of something. But if you guys want to check him out, feel free. Um, so, just some inspiration credits to him. So, you're spreading out, and once you get a third or so of the deck, you square it up. Then you're grabbing it with your index and middle finger and twisting it around your thumb of your left hand. Then you're going all the way through here and re-gripping with your index and middle finger this time and pulling it down. Again, once you spread, you square that up. It's kind of like this Charlier cut position and you grab it with your thumb of your right hand and your index finger of your right hand. Swivel it around your left thumb Bring it over here, and then you're re-gripping with your index and middle finger of your right hand and moving it down. So again, real quick, and then slowly. So again, from this angle, you spread the cards, get about a third, square it up, and then you get into this Charlier type position here. And you grab it with your index and thumb, swivel around your left thumb, and you do all this wrist motion, which isn't much, but it looks a lot when going fast. And then you grab it with your index and your middle finger. Just like that. Once you do it a couple times, it is relatively easy. What I like about this is you can use it with a clumpy deck and it still looks good. You can use it with a brand new deck and it still looks good. Um, the last part here is a bit difficult to do without spreading a lot of cards if you use a new deck, but it still works um, just as well if you are trying to do it. So that is about all I have for the tutorial. Um, I'm not sure what I call this move, but it is some sort of spread type move. Um, we'll give it a name. We'll figure something out. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial. All right, and uh, that about wraps up the video. Yeah, if you guys liked the tutorial, let me know. Um, just something I was fidgeting around with. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learn it. 
you want to tag me on Instagram if you learn it and like make a video or something like that, this is my Instagram. You can check it out. Yeah, we got a lot more videos coming your way. As I said, one video a week. So every Friday there will be a new video. If you are new here, stick around, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified of that weekly videos and some, some little extra stuff in between there and you'll find out if you hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment. All the buttons, just all the buttons. If you feel the need to do it, go ahead. And that is it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Hey, hey.